Hey there, welcome to another radio related video and this is a tutorial video for the ICOM ICR20 receiver and we will talk today about the integrated IC recorder. Now this is one of the really cool features of the ICOM ICR20. There's an integrated recorder and it will record up to six hours of radio into an internal memory now you've got all the buttons to control that IC recorder at the bottom of the radio right here the lower part is recorder you can see that record button is here on the right there's a stop and play function right here and there's a rewind if you can say so and a forward button here that will let you jump from one recording or the other so to record all you have to do is press record what's cool about this receiver is that it will not record dead air or when your receiver is squelched when no signals it's just not gonna record anything and you can see here it's blinking let me letting me know nothing to record for the time being so I'm blinking I'm not doing anything let's just change the frequency here and put the weather and so here we go as you can see it's now red it stays red stays put so this means that it's now recording if you want to stop the recording all you have to do is press the stop button right to the left of it there we go now let's say I wanna listen to what I just recorded all I have to do is press the play button here and in the display you'll see track number the time of the rec uh, how long I recorded 17 seconds and the normal times one means that it's being played at the normal one time speed so you can actually put it faster which will give the sound a more uh, Donald Duck type sound but the recording will actually play faster and you can also uh, put it slower which will give it a more uh, of a really slow but it's gonna work and it's gonna be slower uh, if you have something to try and listen to now the IC recorder the way you go through the tracks is by going at the bottom here with the left and right button so if I press the left button here and we'll go back to the display left you see that it changes my track number so I will be able to play whatever track I want so if I go to track 5 I'll press of course the play button here and here you go this is the recording of track 5 that I don't remember what exactly I wanted to record but it's there so you go around with the IC recorder and uh, you can actually record what you want there are some settings of course on the IC recorder and those settings are available by holding the button so if I hold the record button what you'll see at the display is the different settings you have the quality setting which is long time normal or fine fine means that you have the best audio and you'll have two hours of recording normal no okay audio will have four hours of recording and the long time is less quality in your audio but you'll have six hours of recording now I leave it in the normal mode which gives me four hours which is pretty good and actually I don't see that much of a difference between the fine and the long time most of the time and especially normal and fine I haven't noticed really you know bad quality or anything so it's pretty good quality one of the things you gotta remember when you're actually there is that you only have 32 tracks possible so if you put the um, lowest quality to have six hours keep in mind that if you have 32 tracks and they only last a total of I don't know one hour 
you won't be able to record because the radio has a physical electronic limit of 32 tracks 32 different recordings so even if you have six hours and if, if even if there's some time left if you got 32 recordings on the receiver you won't be able to record anymore so keep that in mind uh, 32 recordings maximum uh, the other settings that you have there is the rec remote which uh, lets you of course uh, control a uh, external device and all delete which will delete all the recording I have in memory of course and to get out of your menu all you have to do is press the dual watch button if you press and hold the play button here now you'll have the playback speed of 1, 125, 150 or from 0 0.5 that's half speed 0, 0.75 and 1 so this changes the speed of the playback so if you put it at 1.5 of course you'll have higher pitch uh, Donald Duck sounding audio but it's actually gonna go one and a half times faster in the playback and the same thing goes if you put it at 0.5 while well, you're at half speed half speed means that it's gonna be bassy lower type you know about like this but it's gonna be slower so that recording of one minute will last two minutes instead so could give you uh, a chance to actually understand something maybe you missed out and come in a normal speed and uh, of course these are the settings now when you have the uh, recordings in your receiver and you want to delete all you have to do of course like I said press and hold the record button and you can press all delete and it's gonna ask you do you want to delete all of the recordings you got a yes and no and keep in mind remember the right dial button on the top is always the button to go through the menus so here I'll say no so it's a great 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 function and um, I must say that I've used it a lot yes you can actually um, record the um, audio into your PC which is pretty cool um, so I think it's a, a nice 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 little feature here you also have um, I'm just checking if there's another but um, I don't think so here so um, you have a great feature which lets you record what you're listening to um, if you transfer these files to your PC using the um, CS20 software keep in mind that the audio unfortunately is in a very awkward format which is an ICW file and that cannot be played on your computer uh, why they chose to do that mm, I guess it's because it just doesn't cost anything at for ICOM uh, if they had put it an mp3 file well they they would have had to pay some royalties and I guess they didn't want to do that now ICW files there's a way to uh, actually convert those to WAV files so that you can actually uh, make a CD put it on mp3 uh, player or an iPod and uh, listen to it afterwards so um, but you'll have to find it on the internet one of the great 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 places to go on the internet is the Yahoo group for the ICOM ICR20 uh, there you have all the files needed to convert the ICW into WAV so um, all is really really available there it's a great great place to go uh, one of the great resource of the internet so remember the uh, just go to Yahoo make a uh, little account there for a, uh, an email and uh, if you don't have one and then uh, you can actually go to the uh, ICOM ICR20 Yahoo group which is a great place to go so this was a little tutorial about um, the recorder and um, remember that the um, rec remote 
function will let you uh, skip when it's on it lets you skip over the dead air on the uh, squelch and so that's a really cool function because if you record for example for one uh, you put it on a channel that you know has communications only every five or ten minutes um, then leave it on with the squelch and when the squelch turns on and there's no audio and uh, the um, IC recorder actually stops recording so you can actually have six hours of radio and if you only have 20 minutes of communications total in the six hours which is cool is that when you're gonna listen to it on the track it's gonna have only 20 minutes of audio the actual communications going through that's a pretty pretty cool uh, function for uh, listening to some uh, channels that don't have too much communications going on so if you enjoyed these videos click the subscribe button at the top of the screen you'll be informed of the videos we put online and if you have any comments or questions please feel free to ask i'll be really happy to um help you out there and uh, answer any questions about this video or any other video so thanks for watching 73s